Let's see what they have. Here I am. Oh my gosh, my legs hurt doing this. Welcome in. Welcome in for another video. Thank you so much for being here. Today we're going on an excursion. This video, rather, is on an excursion. You will see me peruse the aisles, peruse the counters, mostly, of jewelry. At different thrift stores, I went to several Goodwills and other favorite thrift stores here in Houston. Houston is a huge metropolis. It is filled with thrift stores and uh, resale shops and whatnot. So I am looking at brooches here. I also want to tell you that Goodwill has different prices at different stores. For example, many are now putting out trays with a set price. I could not buy anything here at this place because everything in that tray was $6. Everything from that plastic Santa in the corner to a signature Monet. And the Monet was a little on the um, bad side condition. <laughs> not very good condition so I did not take that and uh, I just could not believe they were so expensive for and so I guess it's a, a way for them to kind of streamline the process instead of individually pricing everything but and I suppose some things get mixed up that's a JJ brooch there left that one as well the, again there was a Monet brooch but it wasn't in very good condition so we left that and uh, I just kept looking, hoping to find something. That one didn't have a signature. It's one of those circular brooches. I was very curious about this ring. I couldn't tell what it was. It was some of that anodized or anod I don't know what they call that process, that fabrication where it turns into a rainbow effect. But that's what that was. And then there were some things in these trays. Now, of course, I want to advise you, if you like to hunt for jewelry at the Goodwill, don't just take a quick glance. Pick up the jewelry, take a good look at it, inspect it. You're looking for weight, you're looking for heft, you're looking for high design. You're looking for a quality plating. If it's a gold plated or a silver tone, make sure that it's it's a good one. Now, of course, there's fun in costume. That's a cheap Mexican one there. I. Uh, I'm going to make a whole video on Mexican jewelry. I've seen a lot of misrepresentation, a lot of misinformation. And again, when I do these videos, I'm not targeting one particular person. I really am not. I am, or one particular auction group. I'm seeing it in a lot of places. And um, I just, I can't sit back and just see people talk about Mexican jewelry as if it's all one and the same, as if it's all spratling quality Mexican Renaissance of the high school days when it is not. So stay tuned for that. That'll be coming up soon. I don't know everything about Mexican jewelry. I really don't, but I know inferior and superior, and that's what we're going to touch on. And again, just keep looking here. I did find some earrings here towards the end, but what happened is that someone came around right around here and grabbed one of them from me. See this lady right here with the book? <laughs> she grabbed one of them and we got into a little like, well, who's going to buy these, you or me? I hate when that happens because I had asked for the tray. So I wound up leaving them. I didn't want to argue with her and they were really beautiful. They were loose sight, I believe. And uh, here I went back to another thrift store where I had purchased quite a few sterling pieces, including a James Avery charm, which I sold for the entire purchase that I spent here, the entire um, lot that I bought from this place. That big choker there is actually sterling as well. But there were also some pieces here that when I took them home, and I had my doubts about them, they had a little bit of that yellowish gleam that alpaca gets and this was on a chain so low grade alloys um, will have that kind of a yellowish sheen to them so turned out to be not sterling i was disappointed with that one but i'll still sell it at a reasonable price just a cautionary note there is that not everything that's stamped 925 is 925 and not everything that's stamped mexico is quality so just keep your eyes and your hands on this jewelry. <laughs> Here is one, another place that I love to go, but it is very arduous to look through all of these end caps. They 
have some time. This was actually the same place as the counter we just looked at. So sometimes they will have some really good things here. I have found amber. I have found sterling. Many, many nice things. And then, of course, I'll run into, you know, a craft project in there and things like that. So I have to literally comb through every single one. And then they run all the way down to the floor. So I have to get down on my knees again to look at everything. But I am looking for that elusive Bakelite bangle. <laughs> I'm on a quest to obtain more and more Bakelite bangles. And I feel this is the place to go. But, you know, it's interesting. You think, oh, has have they all been bought up? But my husband found one at a garage sale for me the other day. He just thought they were really pretty. And it was a bundle of, of bangles. And one of them turned out to be Bakelite. And, of course, I have him looking everywhere now when he leaves early on Saturday mornings to work. I always ask him to go to the garage sales and look around and look for what we can find. There are also very nice beads in here. If you know your glass beads, of which I don't, I'm studying that, trying to learn. I just know what I like, what I, what feels good, what looks good, and that's what I'm hunting for. Maybe some uranium glass, some opalescent glass, that kind of thing. Here's another fantastic place. I just discovered this place last year. And this one, they have some jewelry here and there. That was a nice little mod ring. I like that. But they have a, a variety of other things. This video, however, though, we are concentrating on jewelry. I will show you. Oh, look at that fabulous ring. I love that little bee, that little bug on top of there, ladybug. And here's another insect. I am concentrating on bringing you snippets of my excursion so we don't get kind of marled with the... Um, collectibles and the tchotchke I want to just bring you today exclusively jewelry here is one that I absolutely adore unfortunately this Goodwill was actually robbed unbelievable the ladies that work there see me there just about every other day and I walked in one day it was a couple of days after we had this array of beauties here and they said someone had snuck in the back perused the store as if it was shopping time Fortunately, they got him on camera. Fortunately, they recognized him. He was a regular. And it's interesting about this store because they have, I thought it was a problem to have all of the resellers, at least five or 10 daily, no matter what time of the day you go, they are there, they're in the back, they're waiting for the bins to come out. And those are just little tiny bins. This is not the outlet Goodwill. And they just bombard it like vultures, which is fine. I'm a reseller too, but I don't want to get in people's way. I don't want to block the passageway so apparently I, they think it was one of those resellers or someone who kind of hangs around the back looking around and found his way through a little crevice somewhere in the building and walked in and stole all that beautiful jewelry fortunately I got there a week earlier and found some fantastic things here including some Robert Lee Morris earrings they're coming up shortly clip-on sterling silver vintage full signature amazing pieces they are so organic and beautiful they almost look uh, like a heart when i show them they look a little bit like a heart but then they also look like two pebbles resting on top each other fantastic these are just costume pieces i believe that's a jessica simpson has nice stones on it though i did not pick that one up here's another crystal one that was a very pretty color nice weight believe I left that one behind and some of these things have already sold at my auction I do sell on Facebook on Saturdays at 6 p.m. Central so if you need information on that if you're interested the information is in my description box if you're enjoying the video so far take a minute to give it a thumbs up I appreciate it thank you I love these bangles even if that is only silver tone you mix that with your big beautiful silver bangles and it just you you can just carry it off so well. You can pull it off so well. I always go for anything patriotic looking. This one had amazing glass beads, red, white, and blue. And that pendant had super, was it Superwoman? Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman on it. That sold at my auction. I have another, I have a customer who's a patriotic fan as well. The pearls. Oh my gosh, the wonderful pearls. This is a fabulous ceramic piece i almost picked that up but i didn't those are always popular though those 
multi-strand graduated beads. They're even in department stores. Oh, there's some more fabulous pearls. That was, this little thing was beautiful. It was howlite, but it had one chipped piece and I did not get that. This is of course a take on uh, Paloma Picasso's Shooting Star. I actually have that necklace by Tiffany. It's gorgeous. That's a pretty brooch though. I did not pick it up. Oh, here's a fabulous. What is that called? A cat's eye? I really like the chatoyancy on that one. Amazing. I love the chandelier earrings and I love pink. Here are the Robert Lee Morris, I believe. No, these are the, oh, that was a cute little ring. That was a take on those message Valentine candies. Here are some um, amazing abalone doublets. And a doublet basically is the abalone shell with a protective either glass or acrylic coating on top of it. I love those South Asian design earrings. I've never actually worn them, but I think they are so pretty and I rarely see them in silver tone. They do come across quite a bit in gold tone, rich yellow gold tone. These are Banana Republic. These did sell, I believe, last week at my auction. Look at that amazing milk glass. And those tassels are enameled. And what did I tell you about that pop of neon that is everywhere? So amazing. Doesn't it just make the earring? Banana Republic makes wonderful jewelry. I definitely pick it up if it's in good condition. All right, there they are. Aren't those just amazing? Don't they give off sort of a heart look? Those are still available. I think I've shown them once at my auction and they have not sold and I haven't had a chance. I haven't had a chance to put them on eBay, but uh, I should very, very soon. Those were beautiful too. I love the black and metal on pearls. I did not pick up those fabulous chandelier earrings. And I rarely pick up those ceramic ones there because they tend to lose their bail. That's Liz Palacios. She's out of San Francisco. She's in Nordstrom's and other high-end department stores. Oh, here's that necklace I called the mermaid necklace. I don't remember if I sold that. I'll have to look. I have so many stacks and stacks of trays, armoires full of trays, dressers full of trays of jewelry that I literally forget. So if you ever see anything in a haul and you're interested, please give me the timestamp and preferably at least the um, the name of the video or even better, a screenshot of anything because I go through so much jewelry. I don't buy everything that I'm looking at. I did buy those motorcycles though. <laughs> I thought my husband could make them into earrings for those were amazing little earrings i believe they are kendra scott i did not find a mark on them so of course i haven't listed them or anything i actually sent them off sent them off as a gift to one of my members my uh, members of the channel here if you're interested in supporting the channel in any way we do have memberships and uh, for a very small monthly fee you do get perks including things like free gifts when you shop with me at my auction, free shipping, that kind of thing. You can find that information in the description box as well. Again, another wonderful patriotic piece. This is that expandable band and uh, looking through every single nook and cranny here because you just never know what you're going to see. I actually found about three years ago, I found a 14 karat gold Italian white gold chain just hanging on a rack like that at the Goodwill. I do have that video as well. I'll try to link those videos in the description box or in the comment section. I did pick up this beautiful thing and I think that's still available. That is a Carol Lee, I believe, Cookie Lee, Cookie Lee, and it's beautifully made. Absolutely gorgeous in that blackened enameled chain and then rhinestones. I was inspecting every single tassel there because many times I get so excited about things that I find and there can be a little flaw or something and then I wind up wasting my money. I don't really, you know, if it if it ruins the aesthetic and often my husband can fix them though. He'll move things around and things like that. This is an amazing piece. I thought it was a 
a uh, high-end designer that does things like this and puts them on felt, does really intricate beading on felt or leather. I did pick that necklace up. That is a gorgeous ne so. necklace. I didn't pick up this garland of flowers, but I thought it was so beautiful. You know, there's so many women right now, and I do say women because they are, but they're younger. They are really into the pixie and the <laughs> the fairy aesthetic. So definitely something to look for there. Okay, I'll move it right there. Uh, it's gonna be a little real too, though. Pardon? They don't look real? No, they don't look real. <laughs> they look very well, good quality though. Uh -huh. They could be a, you know, a Givenchy or something. They're beautiful. Well, how convenient is this? So my favorite place for, one of my favorite places for jewelry has now streamlined the process. Instead of putting the jewelry all at end caps, they have it all in one corner right next to the register. So not only do they avoid the shoplifters who really love to pinch the bags and take some of the stuff, they have it all convenient in one place. How fun is that? Many of my viewers ask me where I buy my jewelry and my jewelry jars or jewelry bags. Again, Houston is a huge city. I trek it all over the place. I shop probably three or four times a week, if not more. There is not one single Goodwill that will have them on the day that I go. I just hope and pray that they will. I was surprised to find them in some places where I don't expect to find them, but I am out driving around Houston looking for them and hoping to find that wonderful jar, but it's not always the case. Sometimes I just look in the counters and there's good things there as well. I've incorporated the help of my husband. He now stops and looks for them as well. So sometimes we do find that wonderful elusive treasure, but remember it's fleeting. Enjoy it because you will find it, but know that there's always more around the corner. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up.